West Coast Pelagic Conservation Group is a true industry coalition formed by leading producers and independent fishermen in the seafood industry. Our goal has been to assist government agencies such as NOAA's National Marine Fishery Service and the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife in their studies of ecologically important coastal pelagic species, primarily sardines, anchovies, mackerel, and herring. We bring a unique perspective from those who know how to find and catch fish. Since being founded in 2015, WCP has responded to industry concerns that the nearshore regions of the West Coast were underserved. From 2016 to 2017, in conjunction with the Southwest Fisheries Science Center, we conducted trial aerial surveys of the area, but usable data could not be compiled from these overflights. In discussions with the Southwest Science Center, the idea came forth to use an industry vessel to observe and sample the nearshore region, running prescribed transect lines. The center proposed fitting the fishing vessel Lisa Marie with scientific grade sounder equipment. This would allow the vessel to acoustically record and sample, using Persane gear, the observed assemblages in tandem with the research vessel Ruben Lasker. The Southwest Center and WDFW provided funding for a proof of concept voyage in 2018. This helped survey the nearshore regions of the Washington coast. This collaboration produced credible data, which added to the study and allowed the project to continue. In 2019, WCP was awarded an SK grant to further investigate this collaborative effort. Washington and then the Oregon coastline were added to the survey scope. By 2021, the surveyable areas expanded from the northern tip of Washington State to Bodega Bay, California. The much nimbler fishing vessel Lisa Marie is better able to survey the shallow waters of the nearshore region using sonar and sounder information to spot schools of fish for sampling. After a sizable aggregation has been located, the crews begin by setting the net and having a skiff pull away to begin encircling the fish. Once the fish have been surrounded, the skiff will hand off one end of the net back to the vessel and begin to purse the net. This closes off the bottom and ensures the fish can no longer escape. The crew then hauls back. This brings the entrapped fish alongside the vessel for sample collection. The samples are taken using a dip net and placing them into a plastic basket. Once the samples have been collected, the remaining fish are released unharmed. From here, WDFW biologists follow established protocols and diligently catalog all the characteristics of the fish species composition, identification, length and weight measurements, and otolith extraction for aging studies. This short video demonstrates how collaboration between governmental agencies, scientific institutions, and private industry are able to fill key data gaps. Our mission is to support robust stock assessments that can guide us all towards sound resource management and sustainable fishing opportunities into the future.